Welcome back to Oliver's Garage. So in this video, I'm gonna do a ignition upgrade on the RX-7. Um, I already got started before I decided to go ahead and actually record this. So I already had the ignition coils relocated to the driver's side uh, kind of fender well brake booster area. So I already kind of went ahead and removed everything. Um, and as far as I got, so here's the stock igniter, which we won't, won't be using anymore. Um, so as far as I got is I deep pin the OEM igniter harness, um, then using OEM connectors, or should I say automotive connectors, um, I went, went ahead and repinned it for a new harness that I'm gonna make for the AEM smart coils. So these are the Mercury Marine coils or the Ignition A1 coils or 1A coils. Um, so these are fairly popular. Um, there are some nice kits available, but I'm pretty uh pretty frugal. I didn't want to spend you know upwards of seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for ignition kit. I can probably do myself for about four hundred dollars. So yeah, so I'm gonna make the harness and then make a bracket setup, essentially mount the four coils in this area. So that's gonna be today's project. It's gonna be my starting point for my bracket. So this mounts to the car and I have this pop up to mount the other coils. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tacking this in place and working my way to make the bracket. All right, here's my final mock-up of the bracket I made. So here's the tacked up bracket. So I got to finish welding it, clean it up, grind it down a bit, make it look prettier. But overall, pretty happy with the results, so. All right, got the bracket welded up. The wind kicks up every once in a while, which kind of destroys the, the shield gas and screws up the welds, but overall, I think it came out pretty decently. Let's see if I can. Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot. There you go. But I'm just about done with the wiring harness, so it's a bit of a mess right now, but after I tape it up, it should look pretty nice. But it's essentially what I had configured for. Uh, the igniters that are integrated within the coil. So, I've got an automotive plug that I'm going to connect to the car with, and then the rest are just power, powered by a relay, and the fuse that are connected to the battery for uh, overcurrent protection. Alright, let's uh, tidy this up and then plug it in. Alright, so here's the bracket after paint's dried up. Overall, it looks pretty good. So let's get, uh, get it mounted to the car, plug it into the wiring, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I got the coils mounted with a bracket. Overall, pretty happy with the results. Now I just got it mounted to the car and uh, wire it up. So here are the coils with the wiring harness. So, yeah, overall came out pretty good. It actually came out a little tighter than I anticipated. It got a little too short, but overall, I was able to fit it. I got the two leadings on the edge since they fire twice as more than the trailings and the two trailings in the middle. So I think that'll help a little bit with heat management as there's higher duty cycle on the leading coils, but should be good. So now let's uh, finish wiring it up. All right, so everything is mounted and wired up. Went ahead and remade uh, some spark plug cables since the, the terminal on the coil side is a little bit different. Um, one thing I did notice was one of the original cables I had was bad. So that actually may have been the issue while I was having some uh, ignition breakup on the higher end, a higher boost. So I guess it's a good upgrade, um, but I probably should have checked that first. Plugs were good, but yep, didn't check uh, one of the, I didn't check any of the cables, so one of the cables were bad. But overall, I think I'm pretty impressed. I think I'm going to get ready to fire it up. So all the wiring's done. Here's the relay for the igniter. 
separate fuse directly to the battery. And you got the other terminal for the negative. So you just got to wire in the negative, power it on, um, reconfigure the power FC for the new coils, and fire it up. So went ahead and configured the power FC for the new ignition coils. So different dwell settings. So everything should be ready to fire up if I wired everything correctly. It should kick on. So this is my first time attempting to start it with the new ignition coils and new wiring. So if I did a good job, it should fire right up. And if I didn't, then we'll have a troubleshooting section of this video. So let's go. so good Thanks for watching.